Olympian, at the peak of your sport, it's tough to find a competitive edge. Tonight, we follow one athlete who's going to extremes in hopes of gaining just that at a camp that uses some highly unorthodox methods to train elite athletes how to perform under do or die pressure. This, the latest in our series, Pushing the Limit. Miles Chamley Watson is going for gold in Rio. At 26, he's the platinum blonde, tatted up world champion fencer who happens to moonlight as a high fashion model. For the Olympics, it's the most high pressure situation. It's every four years, it's like you want this so bad, and it's just like you put so much extra pressure on yourself. Training up to seven hours a day, he's been dreaming of Olympic gold since he was 10. I first tried fencing just for fun. It was offered in gym class. I fell in love with it right away. And when you start to win, you kind of start to really see a little end goal. Come on, see what you can get out of it. See what you can get out. And just weeks before the most crucial competition of his life, Miles is taking an unconventional approach. Instead of intensive fencing, he's training his mind as well as his body. To be able to control emotions is probably the most important thing for any person in general, an athlete is probably the most important. Welcome to Red Bull's Performing Under Pressure Camp. Here in the epic landscape of Montana, nine extreme athletes, from a rock climber to a big wave surfer, coming together to gain that extra edge over their opponents. So how will this help you going into the Olympics? Well, this is so much more beneficial to me than just fencing or me going to the gym. You know, you can't buy these experiences. Oh my God. One of the biggest lessons, facing down your fears. Look at Miles. Even if it means coming face to face with a thousand pound grizzly bear named Bart. What, uh, if anything, went through your brain when you saw that bear? If I could outrun it or not, <laughs> I literally looked in the eyes and said, we're gonna do this. Jesus. So if I could do that, I could do anything. You can face down anybody with a... Foil. <laughs> By standing here, you have already encountered and conquered the bear. The real bear is the fear within you. Miles is also training to push through the pain and panic of high pressure scenarios. Let it go. Learning enhanced breathing techniques pioneered by world renowned Iceman Wim Hof. I always say, hey, I don't care how good you are, I make you better. These exercises in keeping cool under pressure, preparing them for what's next. Freezing cold ice baths. You keep on going with the breathing. And we go, go all for five minutes, fully immersed up till here, into the ice water. It's a big impact on your chemistry, but you, are in control. My hand is starting to hurt. Oh, yeah, it's, it's been a matter of seconds. Absolutely. Miles grimaces, but the deep breathing seems to be helping him ignore the pain signals. He's down in the breathing. He's down in the breathing. Keep on breathing. Don't gas. Keep on breathing. Who's the master? Control of the mind this is letting go. physical limitations. he somehow manages to stay submerged for 10 long minutes. And I think it's so important to really focus on your breathing because if I didn't focus on my breathing, I would have never been able to stay under the water, see it in that thing for 10 minutes. No way. Yeah, because you were struggling that first time you went in. Yeah, it sucked. It's painful. And yet during competitions, the biggest enemy may be emotions. Just hours before his Olympic debut in London four years ago, Miles says he was caught off guard by a phone call from his estranged dad. I pick up and like, oh, hey, it's dad. He says his angry reaction cost him a medal, placing fourth. I was on one world that year and I couldn't even focus at all. I trained my whole life for this and I let something like that ruin it. Which is why this touchy-feely part of the training camp may help Miles the most, training the athletes to get in touch with their emotions. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Cry. Coached by professional actors from Cirque du Soleil, Miles is asked to get sad, really sad. The worst moment in your life, use that as a marker. You're acting, you're not being judged on it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I mean, I honestly, I haven't cried since I was literally 11. 
Years of pent-up resentment and pain spilling out on stage. Something well, brought you there. What was it? I guess I thought about like my dad maybe growing up. I was like, not really crying, but just like, okay, like you just let it all out. You know, it's like real men cry. You were crying for the 12-year-old boy. I just block it out. So it's like when you're forced to like find the worst thing to make you cry, like, like okay, let's just, let's just go, yeah, quick. Super quick. By moving beyond his hurt, Miles hopes this time around he'll be in full control of his emotions as he enters the Olympic arena once again. If we see you up on that podium in Rio, how much of a role would this camp have played? A lot. Huge role. Really? Uh -huh. I'm, an, I'm a step ahead of people, I think, normally, but now this is a whole other mental game that people don't have. This is like trying to unlock the secret sauce, isn't it? It is, because everyone has this inside of them, but no one really knows how to Attack that. Oh. I have a tattoo. It says, create a legacy, not a moment. What will you be remembered as? Thank you.